we had to go through the process of being um, confirmed when we were there because in the states they were confirming people when they were teenagers, but on Guam they did it like right after your first Holy Communion. So we all had to be confirmed because we were already past that, and you know, like we didn't know who to have for our godmothers, and they had, you know, their people didn't have much money, but they would still, their, that's their responsibility was to make a, provide you with a dress and a rosary and you know a little prayer book or something that you would, and so I remember I was, felt really bad asking my friend's mother, you know, she, and she was like thought about like okay and she had to think about the money part not the um you know if she wanted to do it or not but she had to buy that dress or they would sew them we're really that was another really fun thing there was so few stores on guam at the time it's just really marks uh which was like where the courthouse is now the federal and then townhouse so you know you had to you just bought material from like roddy's you know and then you would everybody got patterns and everybody knew how to sew well, women and the kids. I mean, we we made our uniforms for school. We made dresses to wear, you know, for church and stuff. And 